Hello everyone, and welcome to another edition of the Lightweld 1500 XC laser welding platform. My name is Joseph Roy, and today we're gonna to be going over cladding and additive manufacturing. Now, why is the Lightweld platform good for these types of processes? It's very easy. When we're doing wire deposition, there's very little heat input. So there's not a lot of overmelt or warpage of the material that we're gonna be laying down. So just to give you an example, we're gonna start off with a part that we have here. It's mild steel and I've taken an eighth inch of steel out of the center line here. So we're gonna pretend that this is an abrased part that we're trying to repair. How are we gonna do that? Well, we're gonna reach for our light weld XC with the wire feed attachment. And with that wire feed attachment, we're gonna slowly fill in this whole groove so that it's nice and smooth and then it can go through a post machining process so you have a refurbished part. After we do that, I'm gonna to continue to add material to show you that we can also do additive manufacturing with post-machining process. Now that would be great for something like having a gear repair or a tooth repair on a sprocket. I'll show you how it's done. Okay, we just finished one layer of this eighth inch reduction in this piece of mild steel. Now to get a one layer buildup to fill in this whole groove, we used 0 0.0625 inch thick wire, 1.6 millimeter, 308 LSI stainless steel. Now, as you can tell, we got a nice, beautiful deposition here. Everything looks nice and even. All we would have to do is send this to the machine shop to get um, machined down so that the whole thing would have a nice clean finish. So that's step one if you're just doing repair. Let's do true additive manufacturing right now and we're gonna do multiple layers, multiple buildups of the 308 LSI wire. Okay, so we just got out of our machine shop, and as you can tell, we have a beautiful machine part that we did with additive manufacturing. Now again, you can imagine that this is a gear that we built up on a sprocket or some other piece of machinery that would have really cost you a lot of money to outsource it and get it repaired, but instead, you can repair it right in your shop and with a bridge port, machine it down. Now, I did some transverse machining across this deposition to show you exactly the important part that I want you to take away from this. Porosity is very important when you're doing additive manufacturing. You wanna make sure there's no porosity so no cracks can propagate over your deposition. And as you can tell right here, as we zoom in on these transverse sections, there's zero porosity. This is a beautiful, beautiful 3D print. I hope you learned a lot from this video. Again, Joseph Roy from IPG Photonics. Thanks for watching.